Sunflower seeds go with baseball like peanut butter goes with jelly. The reasons for baseball players enjoying this snack during games goes well beyond how tasty they are, including the wide variety of flavors you can buy at the grocery store. Today, we're going to delve into the history of sunflower seeds making its way into America's pastime. To start, let's introduce sunflower seeds. As the name suggests, they originate from sunflowers. But the truly interesting part is that in one sunflower, there can be up to 2,000 seeds to be harvested. In addition to the kind of sunflower that contains the seeds used for baseball, there is also a type of sunflower crop that is grown for the oil. If you've ever seen a sunflower seed, you would know that the part you eat is wrapped up in a shell known as a hole, which is black and white. Usually you'll see on TV that ball players will throw several seeds in their mouth and they'll crack the seed, eat the good part, and spit out the hole. Or in the case of Freddie Freeman in this clip, he just puts the whole pack in his mouth. Wow. The taste of a sunflower seed is mild typically, hence why so many brands add seasonings to enhance the flavor. Some of the popular ones include original, ranch, barbecue, dill pickle, pizza, or if you're a Baltimore fan, Old Bay flavored. That stuff you can truly put on anything. Now that I have you craving sunflower seeds, let's talk about when they integrated themselves into the big leagues. Sunflower seeds first gained traction in the 1950s. Cardinals teammates Stan Musial and Enos Slaughter, both legends of the game, were one of the first to be seen on a baseball field enjoying sunflower seeds. One could argue that they started the trend that lives on today. As with any trend, it takes a while for it to truly go mainstream. For sunflower seeds, this occurred in the 1960s, more specifically in 1968. In the dugout, Reggie Jackson was commonly seen chomping on sunflower seeds and is credited as the player to make sunflower seeds an official baseball snack. Terry Forster, whom was covered in a great video by Hatbilly, link in the description, made the comment that Reggie was, quote, the master of spitting sunflower seeds. He can put a handful in his mouth, pop them, spit out the shucks, and go right on playing. Eating sunflower seeds is commonplace amongst even the youngest of ball players, but back then, it was entertaining to see a guy who could nonchalantly eat a snack and play ball at the same time. There are many, many reasons, but here are the five key reasons why ball players grew accustomed to eating sunflower seeds on the ball field. First up, the health benefits. Sunflower seeds contain several valuable nutrients such as potassium, calcium, magnesium, iron, fibers, zinc, protein, and many more. They're helpful when it comes to lowering blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar levels. The second reason is they were an alternative to tobacco. There were plenty of players who did not want to become involved with an addicting habit and found themselves using sunflower seeds as a substitute. The third reason is to counteract the clay in the ball field. It kept the taste in their mouth good after sliding and getting dirt in their mouth. The fourth reason is that it's a stress reliever. There's a lot of waiting around for action to happen when fielding and it became a nervous habit. The fifth and final reason is convenience. They're easy to carry around. You can put a whole bag in your back pocket and eat them throughout the game. Funny enough, Reggie's reasoning for eating sunflower seeds on the baseball diamond is because of the health benefits. During an interview with Sports Illustrated, Reggie talked about his passion for chewing sunflower seeds during baseball games and said, quote, the nutritional value is meaningful. Sunflower seeds have protein, thiamine, niacin, iron, magnesium, phosphorus. We have to take phosphorus pills to keep from pulling muscles. Reggie saw the nutritional and health value as an athlete and student of the game and started something that lives on to this day. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on today's video. Make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.